Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we have this 1886 out here, and this is a beautiful 1886. And we recently had it rechambered to 4590 just simply because this longer action can easily handle that 4590 cartridge. And originally the 1886 come in 4590 just like it does today. So this is a smokeless powdered barrel for it. And I know the newer ones say black powder only. And I think the main reason I believe the main reason they say that is because there is no real pressure rating for the 4590 as of yet. So maybe Sammy Specs will come out with a rating and hopefully they'll give it a good rating like a lever action rating and a, and a weaker action rating and a modern rifle rating just like they did with the 4570. When I first started with the 4570, they only rated it for 28,000 PSI. And now look, you have the lever action, which is like 40,000, 43,000 PSI. The 1886 rating, which is like 50,000 PSI. So we're gonna get started shooting these 4590s. And this 4590 is doing 2,600 feet a second. And it's that 300 grain North Fork bullet. And so we're gonna shoot it into this ballistic gelatin to see how well it holds up. Now we've tried and I think I have a few videos on shooting the 300 grain Remington hollow point and it doesn't hold up too well. So hopefully this will do a better job. Anyhow, we're gonna test these bullets out in this ballistic gelatin and just see what they'll do. So let's get uh, everything set up and shoot them. As you can see, here's the 4570 and here's the 4590. And the 1886 will easily accommodate the 4590. So there's not really much reason to shoot the shorter 4570 when you can use the longer 4590 into action. And since the action is long enough, why not go ahead and use the extra power? Here's the bullets we're trying out, sent to us by Wayne Chapman. And there's what the bullets look like. And we got some loaded up. Okay, now we're gonna put this big old 4590 into the action. Close it up and shoot it into that ballistic gelatin. You know, I don't remember if this hits high or low. We're dead on. So here goes what I hope is a good shot. Here's where our bullet stopped. Look at that big old wound channel right there. That is huge. So if we measure this, right here, back to where the bullet stopped is right at two foot. It actually bounced back from like 25 inches. That wound channel is three inches tall because it goes all the way to the top. And if we look at it this way, it's about five inches wide. Let me bring you around to that side. Look how wide that wound channel is. It's like five inches wide. Looks like at the widest place, which looks like it's about right from right there to right there is four. It's like about four and three quarter inches on that wound channel. That bullet right there, I mean that, it looks like it mushroomed out perfect. We'll get it out of there and weigh it and see how much it weighs. It expanded out to 78 caliber and lost two grains out of the 300. I don't know what you guys thought about that bullet, but I thought it held together really good considering it only lost two grains 
and it really tore up that first block of gelatin really good and at that kind of velocity you know most 300 grain bullets just blow to pieces but that one held together really good penetrated 25 inches then bounced back to 24 that's pretty good i don't know about you but i really like these 1886s smooth action it only has about i think it's seven and a quarter inches uh stroke on it so it's it's pretty short for shooting a 4590 I think the 4590 is one of my favorite cartridges out there. It's because you get so much uh, power out of it and it doesn't really increase the pressure. Or actually, you decrease the pressure, but you get more power. Anyhow, I really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you will. It really helps the algorithm. God bless each and every one of you. Come back and see me, you hear?